So guys, I'm back with the Subaru. Here's gonna be the interesting update. So I don't know if you guys remember earlier, we had issues with the cam sensor, waveforms flipping. Let's see if, I know there's a picture in here of it. There we go. You will have, like, they're supposed to look like this, and you will have it where it like flips up, where the signal completely gets inverted which this car has the issue with the signals getting inverted. This left bank, well I should say passenger side bank, the signal will be inverted while cranking, I believe it was, and then while running, it's normal. And then the other side's the complete opposite. So they want you to buy these shims here. They come in a pack of eight. Subaru said it's for the entire car, which doesn't make sense because it's one of each size from one millimeter to eight millimeter. I, I mean, not one millimeter. Uh, let's see. I think it's point one millimeter. Let's see. Yeah, point, yeah, I think it's point 0.1 millimeter to point 0.8 millimeter because they want you to start with the point 0.2 millimeter shim and see if it fixes it. Sorry, I was like, just trying to get this. So guys, we had, a sh we had a file down the shim to make the bolt hole line up for whatever reason. Absolutely. Good waveform. Got the intake pulse. Crank. Lose the... right cam and right to the left cam. We tried an eight millimeter shim back here on this bank to get the waveform to flip like it's supposed to be. And it still wouldn't flip. We went from two to what, eight millimeters? Yes. You went up to? And we yes. modified them all so that they would fit. And it didn't make any difference. We even tried a new sensor and the signal still flips once you start it. So that does not fix it for this car. Hashtag super life. <laughs> One bolt at a time. Oh, you guys go. Look at that smile. I can tell you right now, he's happy. Who's gonna break it? Yeah, I'm fine. Yeah, I shot them all towards the back of the building. <laughs> I went all the way down. I didn't notice it at the intersection at Island Pizza. Yeah. But when I got to 345, I took the bridge and uh, tour, or I didn't take the bridge. I went towards Birdsboro. Um, but I mean maybe it was because we spilled something but I doubt it <laughs> I mean that smells like what plastic yeah I think this one hose clamp has to be fixed but that isn't the issue Tell if it's coming up from the back of the turbo here or if it's coming up just from the front. I don't know, it's just it's weird because all the smoke's coming from this side. And that cover is really hot. It. But it's coming from underneath though. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like it's it's I don't know why the cover is so hot though. It's really hot towards the crank pulley. Maybe the crank pulley's rubbing against it. Did you ever have that happen? Huh? Did you ever have that happen? Nope. What was your temperature like? Oh, cool. I checked everything. Everything seemed fine. No lights came on, nothing. I put three miles and change on it in the loop. This hose is super tight. Oh. I added water. Not like when you told me to. Yeah, but I wonder if something took up wrong. It shouldn't be that tight. That like, thing's well, we can't do super tight. It cools down. So yeah, that, that hose. There's a lot of pressure in there. Maybe we have something hooked up backwards. 
feel like the temperature would have risen in the car, but I also... Not if water ain't circulating. It'll eventually light up, but I wonder if one of these hoses down here are switched or something. I don't know if they can be switched. No, the one's bigger than the other. Or maybe the thermostat's sticking. I don't know if thermostat's... Yeah, but your temperature would have probably went up. But I don't know if that gauge is actually real. That's why I was thinking we should probably take it off while we have yeah. the scar. This yeah, because some, some gauges are fake. They, they don't move till you get up to really, really hot, then they automatically peg. I've never felt it get this hot in such a short amount of time. Though. It's never this warm. It never ran right. Hmm? It never ran right. Yeah, but yeah, this no. gauge, I mean, this uh, hose should not, I don't think it should be that tight. That's really, really tight. Maybe something. Oh, that one's really, really hot. Don't touch that one. Maybe it's something's clogged somewhere. Could be. Do a fluid. Oh yeah, wait. Check. Shine, shine down there. Behind. No, don't. Yeah, don't get anywhere near that turbo. I had that. I had this thing up to five grand. <laughs> and in, in and fourth gear. <laughs> I want to see if that coolant's leaking. Well, yeah, if this thing was overheating, that could have. Look at all the smoke coming off of it when you shine that flashlight there. It was just pouring smoke. You can't see from hmm. uh, I can see this the little heat wave. I'll have to I find that one that tomorrow. Coolant, that coolant line's leaking. Tomorrow, I guess I'll start it and I'll. Uh, monitor the temperatures on all the hoses and everything and see if they open at right temperatures.